Austin's a bitch. Hold up and we'll get there. Lydia Days All Fight Connect TV, we're here backstage at the TF in Castle Bar. I'm delighted to be joined by a victorious main event, Mr. Dillian Weiss. Oh. <laughs> Let me bring this in because we're a bit far out. Yeah. How well, are we feeling? I'm all right. It's good to get the rush. You know, I, I have two years of frustration and anger, so I was kind of pent up and I, I was, you know, he came up swinging, so I was just, just being, you know, obviously the round body was like, listen, sit down, stop doing dumb shit. Then after I was, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to sit down, get back to my box and do my thing. But it's kind of hard when you fight these guys, man. They suck, you know, come out swinging. And then the minute you start touching him and start getting to him, then he just quit, you know. But it's hard. Two years, I didn't even knew it was two years I didn't fight. I thought it was like 15 months or someone said, yeah, it's almost two years. I was like, oh, shit. It's uh, been a while. We've missed you. We've absolutely missed you. It was really good to have you back there. Let's talk about the three rounds that we did get to see. Mm. Your team were saying, you know, take your time, be patient, yeah, yeah, use yeah. the jab, yeah. use the jab. You know, probably so I, I'm a fighter by nature and I want to fight. I want to get in there. And sometimes I got a lot of frustration. A lot of people is... Pissed me off in this free, these, these 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 few years, man. So a lot of anger, a lot of frustration. I wanted to beat someone up, and then you know, Christian came out like he wanted it, and then got into it with him, and then he quit. Yeah, I never thought he was a coward. I know Christian got well. I thought he was a brave man, but he's a coward. We were shocked to actually see. Can you explain to us what happened at the start of the 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 fourth round? The the ref were ready to go into the fourth round, and was it him that said something to him? Corner. He just quit. He's a coward. He should have just, you know, I, I went back to the corner, sat down, got ready to come back out, and then he should have said, "Yeah, I quit." And then in the third round, you know, I don't know why. Go back to the corner. We got seen to it. It just just point five. But you know what? I needed. I need to come back. I need to get something going, and need to get, you know, like it was like fighting for the first time all over again, you know, mm -hmm. was, I was, I was extremely calm, got trained hard, but it was just a lot of uh, aggression and frustration, man. Well, uh, you're saying that, are we happy now that we have that out of the way and we can move forward and, and do we know, do you have a plan in place for what's next? I just want to fight in about six to eight weeks time, I don't know, whoever, I just want to be busy, I need to be busy, I need to fight. If you look at my record in the last three, four years, I ain't fought a lot at all, you know, it's just... You need to get fight, man. These people need to stop fucking with me, man, and just let me get on with my career and just get busy, man. Absolutely, I agree. Can I ask, what have you been up to over the last two years? I know you've been training consistently, but... I've just been dirt biking. I, was about, I didn't want to <laughs> spoil the fun. <laughs> I've just been dirt biking and chilling, spending some time with my family and just seeing family and just, just been trying to stop myself from going crazy and just blowing my lid, you know? Well, there was a while I thought we were going to lose you to dirt biking. No, you was more likely to lose me seeing me in the highway running on the street naked. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, I, I was close. I was close. They just pop in the lid. But you know, I'm mentally strong. I'm used to coming back from stuff. And um, not a lot of people say, "Oh yeah, this and the other." But listen, not a lot of people can go through what I've been through and come back again. And I, you know, I mean, it's a shame that I got to do it. But you know, I'm not. I'm, I'm not an archaeologist. So I don't dig up. I don't dig in the past. I look forward to the future. Absolutely, and that is why we love it. Final question before I let you go. Obviously, it was a huge moment for Irish boxing fans here today mm. to have you here in Castle yes, Bar. Yes. I mean, and your Irish heritage. What yeah. St. Patrick's Day, it all came together, right? You know what's funny is everything just aligned and I couldn't resist it. I couldn't turn it down. You know, everything happened for a reason. You know, I've been meaning to come here and fight for a long time, but mm. things didn't happen. And then we put the show on for the, the guys that I managed, um, Thomas Raymore and all of these guys. And it started to align. I, was, I went to LA a couple of weeks ago, I started training and... My body was working and stuff, you know, trying to get stuff back, trying to get back on track, you know, it's like, I was way gone, you know what I mean? I was way gone, and I had to come, I come back a, a good way, you know what I mean? I think I studied camp, I was like almost 290 pounds, you know, I lost a lot of weight, a lot of training, and that's a lot of stress, a lot of stress weight put on, you know, I was in a dark place, but thank God, I'm I'm tough, and I'm a warrior, you know, so it's, those are the things I know to do best is to fight, you know, um, it gets me in a lot of trouble, but I'm a fighter, I don't, take shit from no one I don't you know I don't suck up to anyone and it gives me a lot of trouble but makes me tough you know so yeah well that's makes what makes you you and why we love you so it's good to have you back and we look forward to seeing you out in six to eight weeks up the mayo yeah, up the mayo <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right where, where is it where is your family from again Dublin, around here Dublin Dublin, okay, Dublin, yeah, yeah. Dublin, Dublin. you've loads of your family here tonight yeah, yeah there's loads of people that come up and see me yeah. I mean they even brought me some boots you know what I mean they brought me some boots the way I was like yeah thank god these are flash yeah yeah, yeah they're nice boots they're nice boots because um I brought some other boots and they stole with my suitcase from the hotel with all of my stuff in it. <laughs> and they stole one of my bags, so I had to get new stuff and um, you know, say thanks to everyone who support me. Um, box fit, 
Susie Wong, you know, all of my team, Body McGirt, Magic, you know, the guys at Proactive, everyone who support me, you know, um, my guys behind the scene, you know, Magic, Mike, Magic did a great job putting on the first promotion for the company. It's great. I was, it was, it was actually a good show. There's a lot of people out there was jumping. So yeah, well done, well done. So this is a sign of things to come then with Magic and the show, and we're going to yeah, continue yeah, doing shows. We want to continue. You know, we want to continue. Is, you know, we just want to create opportunity and job for people in, in boxing. That's that's what I set out to do. I set out to try and change most people's life as I can and to change better my life. So, you know, um, you know, I try and do a lot of good things, but a lot of people try and keep me down. I don't know why. Maybe because my mouth is a little bit wild, but I don't care. At least. You know, I, I started off how I want and I go out how I want, you know. Absolutely. Well, you made loads of Irish boxing fans very happy this week with you being here. Yeah. So thank you very I much. I really hope we can have a big, we, I'd love to have a big fight here in the summertime. Because in the winter, it's raining cold as hell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, like, like today, when I watch a bit of St. Paddy um, and Parade, it's amazing. I was thinking, wow, so much people come for that. Imagine doing a massive show on St. Patrick's Day, you know, in a big stadium or something. Loads of people come out. Is that money for me, Magic? <laughs> Let me get that. <laughs> Let me get a couple of grand, man. <laughs> With my ticket money. <laughs> Bro, I'm broke. With my ticket money. <laughs> no. no, no, no. I already paid the opponent. No, no, no. Well, listen. And he's a coward. He took the money and run off. Coward. Well, listen, thank you so much thank for your you. time. Really appreciate it. It's thank great you. to have you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dillian White for Fight Connect TV.